When medical news gets gross <laughs> or weird, we take it out. <laughs> you, why are you laughing? What, what are you laughing about? Because I know what's coming, Doc. I'm trying to do my intro to the show. He does. He does. So this is one of those things, a segment we call, What the Health? <laughs> Let's talk vacuum cleaners. They're apparently not only used for cleaning floors. Check out this nurse's tweet that went viral. It reads, ladies, please stop using your vacuum hose to end your period early. You're going to wind up sucking out a lot more than blood. There were two cases of this so far this week, and both women had to be admitted. Just stop. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> Ooh. Now, Dr. Mm. Eda, tell oh. us, please. This is not happening. What the hell? What the hell? You know what? But wait, you... Actually, I will say, this is a thing, though. This is a thing. Yeah, this is a thing that no one should be doing to their vagina. Hey, how about you don't put a vacuum cleaner anywhere on your body? No, nowhere, right? But, I mean, come on, ladies. Your vagina. After all you've been through with her. <laughs> after all the good times you two have had together. This is how you're right. going to treat her? You're going to vacuum? you keep running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you do. <laughs> really, this... It's not safe, it's dangerous, and it's not effective. It's not going to work. I, I do have a question. Actually, the, the nurse did tweet out, also, yeah. your period has a steady flow of its own. A vacuum increases that flow by a thousand times. Your body can't adjust to that speed and sudden loss of blood, and you go into shock. I have to ask this question. Not trying to belittle any one individual, but I do not have a vagina. Okay. But I'm trying to picture the scenario where this person is sitting there. <laughs> vacuum hose in this hand. Well, Travis, let's roll Ms. to the door. No. <laughs> and they, they think to themselves, this is a good idea. Who, who, yeah, but, but who would what, think of that? You know, that's the, the thing is, it's I so mean, Menstrual dumbfounding. period, we're not women, we can't relate, but I but mean. But that's why I'm asking, because well, I want to know. Well, because is they, they want to speed the process up. They're they, saying they want to speed the process up. I think what they are thinking about is something called a suction DNC. If someone has a miscarriage, sometimes we'll do a suction DNC, but that's not how we do it. Needless to say, that's not how it works. You don't use and the old Hoover. You don't no. use the Hoover, but with the suction <laughs> DNC, you don't use the Hoover. With the suction DNC, you know how you have your vagina and then your cervix is the bottom part of your uterus, right? Well, if someone has a miscarriage and we have to go to surgery, then we'll put a little curette in, okay? A little suction. But we go into the vagina with no suction. We make sure we go into the cervical canal, still no suction because we don't want to get that tissue in there and damage the vaginal wall or the cervix. And once we're in the uterus, that's when we start to suction the tissue out. So I'm thinking, they are thinking that they could just suction in the vagina and it will just automatically do what it needs to do. It's not Wait, safe, it's not gonna work. That the problem is, We've been making light of it a little bit, but it is so incredibly dangerous. Yes. And I hope that people, yeah. when we do these what the hell segments and we have a little bit of fun, I hope people will take that part seriously because clearly it's happened. And I'm yeah. sure if, if it happened twice in one week at this one hospital purportedly, it's happened elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So please, please, Our please. Our advice as doctors, do not use vacuum cleaners on any part of your body. Right, I Just, mean. Your body will take care of itself. And I really hope that the patients do okay. And then just yes. know that there are really things that you can do. Talk to your doctor, even if you're not into hormonal therapy, which can really help with your flow. There are other things you can do. You can do NSAIDs. You can do something called tranexamic acid. You can do a lot of other things. So please, don't vacuum and, your girl. And let's talk about <laughs> bleeding in general. Yeah. You know, when your body is bleeding, it's not as though, unless you're trying to literally bloodlet, it's not as though if you have a cut or a bleeding anywhere that suction helps. It's, you're, you're not going to just bleed it out. Right. You know, and so that the concept that people out there think that you can just vacuum blood no. and then and right. you vacuum well, it and then it's just gonna stop. And you can cause some serious uterine bleeding. You can cause bleeding. If you tear that vaginal mucosa because it is, it's gentle, right? It's delicate. Yes, if you, it is. you can get a really significant tear and you can get a significant amount of bleeding from that in addition to infection and just, we could talk about this all day. It's just wrong. Just trust us. Don't do it.